What's going on guys? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. Sorry for the uh, noisy server PSU is going off. Um, when I got here, it was 108 degrees. It's now at 101.8, so we're doing better. That's because I shut off the top 3060 rig and I shut off the bottom RX 580 rig. Um, I kind of want to mess around with this situation we have here. I think I'm going to move the fans that I have pushing the heat up from here because it's kind of just exactly what the feta frames are doing just blowing it right onto the bottom of the motherboards above it so i think i'm going to remove this i want to put this fan behind the rig right here and basically i'll have one big fan behind each rig so i'll have three up on the top one in the middle and one to the left and the right on the uh the bottom here and i'm hoping that entirely will cool this place off a little better and the air will kind of come at me instead of just going up because on hive os this rig right here was getting above 70c on i think it was this card this one was smoking hot so i'm not really sure but i kind of want to test this out and see if that works the heat from this rig with this fan being behind it will really help basically get the heat rising away from the actual rig right above it so on top of doing that i ended up bringing um another uh, c14 cable because right now i have this server psu plugged into a regular 120 wall outlet so i want to get that ran down to the bottom server power supply and then once I clean up the studio back at my main location, I'm going to be putting another one of those 20 amp trip light PDUs right here. So as you can see, I set it up with for three of them originally and the bottom one's just not in use because at the time I didn't have that many cards and I wasn't pulling that many amps. So I ended up stealing one of the trip light PDUs and bringing them to the studio. So I had 240 volt there, but now I'm going to have to change out the breaker and change out the plug to a uh, 30 amp plug. So. Yeah, let's, uh, let's mess around real quick. I'm gonna change these fans around and then I will, uh, I'll be back in a second. All right, we're back. So, like I said, I moved the fans around. I left the top two pointing up, sucking the heat away from the top two rigs. I moved a fan behind this rig and obviously this fans behind those two rigs like they were originally. I ended up adding the third fan on this shelf behind this rig because I slid the one that was behind it over here to the middle to cool this down. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping that this makes a difference blowing the heat towards me versus straight up onto each other because this top row of uh, cards are just getting excruciating hot and I can't have that. If this works fine, what I'm going to do is I actually have something in the works to mount my motherboard to these thick wires right here so that's going to be my plan i'm going to mount another set of cards basically these ones right here i'm going to take them put them down here or over there and move this to the right or the left so the entire channel in the middle will be wide open and we'll have rigs on the left and the right side but if i do that obviously i still need to have the fans directly behind each rig and I might end up having to put some sort of fan on the front side to help pull the air directly through. But again, I'm just speculating. I'm not even sure if this is going to help my situation. So right now I got to power back on this rig and power back on that rig just to uh, see how hot they actually get. And I'll monitor them for a little bit. So let's do it. All right, right now we're at 101. Okay, everything should be good to go. So I guess let's see. I can already see the bottom ones coming back. All right, so I'll get into my Hive OS and I'll double check just to make sure these are working properly. Um, in the midst of these rigs being off me moving the fans, like I said, I did put the C14 cable from here down into the bottom PDU. Um, this is really stretching the maximum capacity of these two PDUs. 
because I think I had like 17 amps on the top one and you don't want to go over 80% so that's like really close. It's probably a little more than it should be. Comfortably I'd like to keep it around 16 but 17 is like uh, I don't know I, I can deal with it for a little while until I get that other PDU here. Uh, this one I'm not sure what it's going to be at. I'm hoping it doesn't go over the 17. But again, I don't know, so we'll see. Right now it's at 15, 16, 17. Yeah. Uh, oh no. No, 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 no. Nope, can't have that. Too high. Too high. All right, so I just had to do an emergency shutdown on that rig right there. All right, so this briefly touched 20, 19, and then it flashed 20. I wasn't, I'm not willing to leave it at full capacity at all. That is a straight fire hazard. So anybody that's doing that, please be safe. That's not safe at all. Um, I just shut it down. I'm gonna put it back to the way it was with this one running off of the 120 volt. And that's that, that's how I'll have to leave it. I would rather be safe than sorry, and you know what? That's not safe. Okay, plug back in. Okay, start her back up. Yeah, I just, I'm not, that's not okay. If these all burn down, like this is a big deal. Can't, I'm not gonna risk losing my entire investment because I wanna use my PDU. That is a dangerous situation and I'm not willing to uh, take that risk. So like I said, I'm gonna monitor this for the next uh, hour or so. I wanna see how hot it gets in here. I wanna see if these fans behind the rigs actually help. If they do, I'll let you guys know below. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on the way out. I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.